Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at using the first derivative test. So we have find the local extrema of f of x equals sine x plus cosine x on the interval from 0 to 2 pi using the first derivative test. So for this example here, we're starting off with f of x equals sine x plus cosine x on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. To find the local extrema, which refers to the local minimum, local maximum, some other uh, classes they'll call it the relative minimum, relative maximum. The first thing we need to do is find the first derivative. So we're going to find f prime of x. And we have here the derivative of sine is cosine. And the derivative of cosine is negative sine x. So from this stage here, we need to find the critical values of f of x. So we're going to set our first derivative equal to 0. So we'll have cosine x minus sine x is equal to 0. But to solve here, we could add sine x to the other side. And if we think at this step, cosine x is equal to sine x when x is equal to 45 degrees. But since we're in radian mode, we're going to just say for our first solution, pi over 4. But we also have to think about ASTC. This is a quadrant 1 solution. And where else are sine and cosine equal? Well, we can't have a solution in quadrant 2 because only sine is positive here. So we would have a positive value equaling a negative value, which couldn't be the case. And for the same reasoning, we eliminate quadrant 4. So we could also have a solution in quadrant 3 because sine and cosine are both negative here. So if we look, a reference angle of pi over 4 will give us an angle from standard position of pi plus pi over 4, which would give us 5 pi over 4. Okay, so our second solution is 225 degrees, but if we convert it to radians, it'll be 5 pi over 4. So this represents our critical values. So with these critical values here, what we could do now is classify them as being a local maximum or local minimum of f of x. And the way we do that is we're going to make a sign chart for f prime of x. So we're going to make a sign chart here. So we're going to start by making a number line. And it's going to start at 0 and it's going to end at 2 pi because this is the interval we were defined or we were given for this problem here. And now the critical values are pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4. So when we cut this interval from 0 to 2 pi using these two critical values, we have to check 1, 2, 3 subintervals to determine if they're positive or negative. So if we look at the first interval, we need to pick a number between 0 and pi over 4. So we can pick pi over 6, because pi over 6 is between 0 and pi over 4. And what we do is we're going to plug this value into our first derivative. So we're going to find, in this case, f prime of pi over 6. So be careful, don't plug it into the original function, we're going to plug this into our first derivative. So that's going to give us cosine pi over 6 minus sine at pi over 6. So if we evaluate this here, cosine of pi over 6, we need the 30, 60, 90 triangle for this, but that's going to give us cosine of 30 degrees, which is radical 3 over 2, and we're subtracting sine of pi over 6 which is one half. Now for these problems, a big uh, mistake for students is if you're not allowed to use a calculator, you don't really care about the exact value here. You just care if this is positive or negative. And we know that radical three over two is definitely bigger than one half. So this value here is going to be greater than zero when we subtract the two, which allows us to label this first subinterval sub here as being positive. So now we need to pick a value between pi over four and 5 pi over 4. There's no pi over 4 is 45 degrees and this is 225 degrees. So if we pick 90 degrees or pi over 2, that's going to be an appropriate value to plug into our first derivative here. And this is between pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4. So if we plug in pi over 2 into our first derivative, that's going to give us cosine of pi over 2 minus sine of pi over 2. Now using the unit circle, we look 
to the unit circle, if you have one, you could draw it out. But cosine of pi over 2 is 0, minus sine of pi over 2 is 1, and 0 minus 1 is negative 1, which is definitely less than 0, which allows us to label this here as negative. And guys, just know, as you do more of these problems, this part may go on, you may do this part in your head, but as you're building up to it, you may want to write it out on the side just to be certain. So then the last subinterval to check is between 5 pi over 4 and 2 pi. But remember, this is 225 degrees and 360 degrees. So if we pick 270 degrees or 3 pi over 2, that would be an appropriate value to plug into our first derivative. So we're going to plug in 3 pi over 2 because that value is between 5 pi over 4 and 2 pi. So if we work this out here, that's going to give us cosine at 3 pi over 2 minus sine at 3 pi over 2, which gives us 0 minus, and sine at 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. So this will give us minus minus 1 is positive 1, which is greater than 0, which allows us to label our last subinterval here as positive. So now we analyze this and notice that at pi over 4, there's a change in the first derivative from positive to negative, which tells us at pi over 4, we have a local max, and at 5 pi over 4, the change from negative to positive tells us we have a local min. If you forget this, let's say you forget this chart here. Remember, a positive first derivative means your function is increasing, and a negative first derivative means you're decreasing. And if you look at what shape that makes, it almost makes like a hill, which would make a local maximum. It's like a high point. And the same concept here, if we go from decreasing to increasing, it's going to make a local minimum. It's going to make like a little dip uh, when we draw this out. So to conclude what we have here, we could say f of x has a local maximum. At x equals pi over 4. And we could also say f of x has a local minimum at x equals 5 pi over 4. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on using the first derivative test to find local extrema. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.